Back in business with me, Harsha Subramaniam. Punjloid, India's third largest engineering company, wants the government to speed up approvals for quick executional projects. My colleague Mini Menon sat down with CEO Atul Punj and asked him if India's policy story is one step forward and two steps back. I think right now we're trying to struggle to come back from the two steps back. Uh, you have challenges which are resulting in a huge problem in terms of the power build-out that we all know about. Issues to do with land acquisition, coal linkages, environmental clearances. Uh, if you just look at the sheer number of projects that have been given licenses and what stage they've reached, it's abysmal performance. You have a lot of gas-fired power plants, for example, where the power plants are out, pipelines are built to connect them uh, with gas supplies, but there's no gas. So you have idling capacity on the gas side as well. So almost everywhere you look, uh, our ability for time to market uh, for a particular project is way behind the rest of the world standards. It's easier today, for example, I was in Sri Lanka last week to put up a power plant in Sri Lanka and probably put an undersea cable into to India because your coal is coming from either Africa, from uh, Indonesia, Australia, South Africa, Mozambique. So in any case, you're right there and Sri Lanka is just, you know, a stone's throw away from the southern tip. And simply clearances will be that much faster. So we find that there's too many agencies that are involved, whether it's on the highway side, whether it's on the power side, whether it's on the port side, whether it's on you want to build a shipyard. It is just too, too time consuming. And every day you find that there's some new change in regulation, there's no real uh, transparency about exactly what you need to do, where you need to do. Barring some states which have taken the, uh, the ownership of really building out infrastructure, we all know which ones they are, uh, which are different from the rest of the country, but overall, we have gone two steps back, if not three. Over the last two years, you've all spoken about a policy uh, paralysis and infrastructure not really getting the leg up it needed. A lot of infrastructure companies, including yours, have faced the flack for it. Uh, this year, with all the noise and the hope of progress, has there been change on the ground? See, awarding contracts is not solving the problem. Okay, and I think they tend to, uh, people tend to see that the number of contracts or the kilometers on highways, as an example, is showing that there's a major movement in the sector. The point is, are you really geared up as a nation that says that all agencies are now committed to this happening? Are you able to deliver the right of way on time? Are you willing to take the politically unfamiliar st or un uh, uh, popular step okay, of dealing with local issues, whether it's moving a small temple or a small mosque or moving some other place which is significant to the locals? Are you willing to reroute your line around uh, the, the highway around those, uh, those obstacles? Are your tree cutting permissions coming from the right uh, agencies at the right time? The disputes that arise and all contracts globally right, have a difference of opinion between the owner and the contractor and the engineer. Now, everywhere else in the world, they have sorted out the dispute resolution in a seamless manner that within three to six months after your project is done, you have come to a conclusion. In India, it's a minimum five to five to seven year wait. But this has always been a problem. Right. Has it been exaggerated because of other issues over the it last few years? It has been exaggerated because the sheer number of projects that have been floated out have resulted in that many more litigation, which means the system which is already constrained to resolve these disputes is hugely overburdened, right? The BK Chaturvedi report has been on the table. Everybody knows what needs to be done. But everything seems to be done in little bits and pieces. It's not taken up in a holistic manner that, okay, what are the issues dealing with, uh, that are affecting this sector? How do we resolve them and make sure that everybody is aligned and we end up saying that we want to build a great nation okay, that reflects the, the great nation that we are. That's not happening. That was Atul Punj talking business. We are out of time today. Do follow us on Twitter at Harsha and Business. Thank you for watching.